Right, okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, or on this video, should we say. Okay, we've got the Mark 8 Golf R. Um, this particular Mark 8 Golf R is Racing Line's development vehicle. Um, one of the things that is just pre-released, but maybe by the time this video comes out, will already be released, is the power control module from um, from, from OEM Plus Racing Line. So this is essentially a tuning box. So this is the entry level into the tuning for this platform. There is then scope for once tuning is available for this vehicle to hand that box back and use it against the cost of uh, stage one from OEM Plus for this tuning. So, you know, like I say, it's entry level in. You know, it gives you something to appease you for power, a um, bit of extra power, a bit of extra torque in the meantime. What we're gonna do, we're gonna strap this car onto the dyno and we're gonna test this box out right now. Um, and then once that's done, in the next video, uh, we're gonna hit the airstrip and do some testing, some real life live, real live testing out on the airstrip, so. Um, so downstairs are Golf 8R. Um, with our PCM box, which is our uh, tuning module, our power control module. It's a supplementary box that goes on with the ECU. We've done a lot of development and done all the tuning in-house of this. Uh, it's got a CNC machine housing, carbon bracket fits perfectly on the Golf 8 and 8 white Audi platforms. Uh, we see good power increases, we'll see that on the dyno. Something that's quite unique about this is when software is available for this car, you'll be able to return your PCM box and receive uh, software without an additional charge. We can flash your car. Right, guys, so uh, vehicle is strapped on the dyno, ready to run. Uh, we've got it. The box is unplugged. Fully stock in terms of the software um, side of things. It does have uh, R600 on there and an elbow, but we'll still be able to get a baseline of, of where it is with those hardware components. So just setting the vehicle up in dyno mode now. So obviously we can run it on the dyno without any issues. So we'll get that set up and then we'll run it and then see what it does stock and then we'll put the box on and, and see what it does from there. Okay, so uh, ran in stock. Generally, these run a lot higher from the few we've done on the dyno. We are getting 338 horsepower and 326 foot-pounds of torque, so higher than obviously advertised figures out of the box. Like I said before, this does have some hardware changes on the vehicle, um, which will all be aiding um, on the stock power. So yeah, baseline runs are done. We're just about to do the runs with the box. Uh, switched on and here is Mark Ash. Only me. So PCM runs done. Keep keep doing this. It's the cold in here. Um, PCM runs are done, um, we have made 364 horsepower and 345 foot-pounds of torque. Um, racing line actually advertised 360 PS on this, so we've made, I guess, 368 PS, so obviously higher than what is quoted, so it's doing exactly what you know it, it's been intended to do. Um, Delta gains, as you can see from the graph, all the way through the rev band, so it's making power all the way throughout. So, cool things about this, as we mentioned before, um, I mean, here's the box. Same thing, obviously, Racing Line products, Racing Line quality. Um, very, I guess, I don't know, I was comparing quite to like, like the Apple look, you know, everything's clean, sleek looking. So this is the box, PCM control module, it's got obviously little um, CAD drawings of of the actual uh, box on there. So one of the really, really cool things that you love about about the box itself uh, is, is this. So unlike some tuning box on there where you just get cable ties to kind of locate them in the engine bay, it's got a nice little carbon bracket that sits over the top of the battery and utilizes um, the battery bracket. But then, you know, the extra, extra cool thing about this is just how it's, you know, shaped like a factory ECU, um, which for me is, is awesome. So, yeah, like I mentioned before, you've got entry-level power here, the PCM, so, you know, you don't have to, 
you know, even think about going on to tuning after this. Um, you know, it can literally be this, and this can be, you know, where, where you leave it. People that are, I guess, a little bit more warranty conscious, 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 warranty conscious. Um, you know, obviously, with any kind of tuning, there's no guarantees that you know your warranty is safe. But this kind of thing, you know, has a lot more chance of going undiscovered than the likes, you know, of, of a flash on the ECU. So, um, you know, if people that are a little bit more warranty conscious, conscious, I can't even speak to them, conscious, um, would go for something like this. Um, now this, like I say, obviously engineered specifically for this car, and um, they do do this for the GTI, um, and maybe for some other models in the future. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it, that's the, PCM control module, testing's done. Um, like I said before, the next video we're gonna get out at the airfield and we are going to do some live data testing on this as well to see you know, how much of an enhancement. So as I said before, um, tuning is not available for this car just yet, um, mainstream. So what we need to do is obviously look at other ways we can make power and this is that. So. Um, that's it for today, um, we'll see you down at the strip and uh, like, subscribe uh, and give us uh, a follow on, on the YouTube and on the other socials uh, and we'll see you soon.